one of the most important duties of our Muslim community in Great Britain and elsewhere around the world is to revive the pillar of Islam called zakat. This, we must realize, is one of the most important obligations that we have. We have to collect zakat, we have to distribute it. I want to share with you a beautiful hadith of the Prophet وسلم, that is transmitted from Al-Hassan al-Basri. It's in Abu Dawood, Tabarani, and Al-Bayhaqi. And according to this hadith, the Prophet said وسلم, حَسِّنُوا أَمْوَالَكُمْ بِالزَّكَاتِ Fortify your wealth through zakat. We could also say build a fortress around your wealth through zakat. If you pay zakat, you protect your assets. You protect everything that you have owned or will ever own. Everything that you've spent. Hassinu amwalakum bi zakati. Build a fortress. Fortify your wealth through zakat. And then the Prophet said وسلم, in the same hadith, Wadawu Mardakum Bisadaqa and treat your sick through charity. One of the greatest ways that we preserve our health if we are healthy and that we seek to renew the health of the sick is by charity. Zakat does this also. It is obligatory charity, but we must never regard obligatory charity to be enough. We must be the most charitable of all people. And when we give in charity, and charity is for all and for sundry, when we give in charity, then this is a way that we cure the sick among us. And the sick among us are not just those people who are suffering from horrible diseases, such as these physical diseases we know, but also the diseases of the heart. And sadaqah gives you salada fi deen. Sadaqah gives you sturdiness, steadfastness in the deen. We don't waver back and forth once we become people who pay zakat and give in charity. And the Prophet said وسلم, in the same hadith, And meet the waves of affliction, the trials that come to us in life through supplication, through dua, and through tadarra, through humility towards God, through approaching God with complete humility. These are actions of prayer and these are actions also of the heart. So this is the way whenever we are met with affliction that immediately we ask God to relieve the affliction. We turn to Him in prayer and also we turn to Him in humility. We turn to Him as people who are truly His servants who know that we depend on Him. We have many agencies, we have many banks today and other advisors who will give you advice about how to protect your assets. You have worked so long, you have done so much, you have gathered so much wealth, you can lose it so easily in such a short time. How are you going to protect your assets? Who among you have not been addressed about this concern? And we have to know that the best way that you protect your assets is to pay zakat on your assets. To pay zakat on your assets. When you pay zakat, God will protect your wealth. Zakat, the word means to make something grow, to make something have blessing in it. When you pay that zakat, which is a minimal percentage, very little of the wealth that you have, then your wealth is protected forever and blessing is put in it so that the food you eat makes you healthy and not sick. The drink that you drink makes you healthy and not sick. And all the uses that you put to your wealth, it brings great good. May Allah guide us to bring this religion to life and without the pillar of zakat, the five pillars are dreadfully missing. We must restore this pillar. Wassalamu alaikum.